I'm going to show you how to make a low poly bridge in Blender. So shift A, add in a cylinder. Now you want to scale that. Now we scale that upwards like so, and then go into tab mode, control R, and then you want to move that upwards and then press left click. And then you want to S to scale like so. So it creates a little indent or maybe S to scale outwards like so, just to get a general shape. Then add a modifier, add in a bevel modifier like so. I don't know if you need segments, you can just copy how many segments I'm doing and then right click and then shade smooth and you can apply that modifier if you want. But I forgot to shift A, add in a circle, G to move S to scale and then G to move upwards. Now go into tab and now select all the vert vertices and then E to extrude upwards. Once you've extruded upwards, just move that down to fit it like so. Now go into tab, press A and then E to extrude and then like so, like so, and then add in a modifier, bevel modifier, and just increase the segment, scale that down to fit like so, and now it should be a little bit more detailed. Now what you want to do is just duplicate both of these. So make sure you select both these two objects, and now duplicate linked, and now you can just move that across like so. And now just keep duplicating them like so. Now you have three pillars that kind of make up a bridge. You can kind of see how it's going to come along now. Now shift A, add in a cylinder. And now you want to go into the side view. Now what you want to do is S to scale. And then just move that along with G. And then rotate that 90 degrees like so. You can slow the video down. S to, uh, scale that down across like so. So it can be a kind of a rope. Then what you want to do is just move that across, line it up, control R to add in a vertices. Once you've added it in, press on G and then Z to move it downwards, I think it is. And now add in another vertices, control R, control R. And now go into X review, select both of these vertices and move them down like so. So it should look like this. And then shade smooth, right click and then shade smooth and now it should look like a rope. You can just expand that like so, just line it up, make sure it's um, connected. And now there you go, you have like a kind of bridge kind of fence kind of thing. I don't know what you call it. But yeah, and now what you want to do is duplicate that rope and add it across like so. And that is the basic kind of fence kind of thing and then duplicate that all like so next what you want to do is shift a add in a cube s to scale scale that down like so g to move and then just focus on that object like so just slow down the video if it's going too fast you can scale it like so so it looks like a plank kind of just make sure it, it kind of fits within the area of the fence but yeah g to move if you do need to uh, move it. Now just find the right proportions, just try to fit it between the two uh, fence posts kind of things. Now what you want to do after this is just move it upwards, get it in line beneath that little circle, like so. And now you just want to move it outwards, like so. Now you want to add in a modifier, add in an array modifier, 1.1 or 1.2, you can change that too. And then you increase these, like so, this number, and then add, apply the modifier. Now you have a perfect set of wooden planks. Now what you can do is follow what I'm doing. You can create some indents within the wooden planks, or you can just leave it like so. But I tend to do this to give it a more natural, realistic feel. But yeah, I'm going to let it play out. And thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.